Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. I'm about to go do some thrifting, of course, you know how it is, but I pulled out my vlog camera. I spent nearly $700 for the Panasonic Luminix. Uh, I haven't been using it because it's just easier to use a phone, but I also have some audio problems with this. The audio just doesn't pick up. I have an external mic on it. Uh, the camera, when it's on, it runs. It makes a constant buzzing sound, so it picks up in the audio as well. So um, I'm trying it out again because I'm thinking about selling it um, if I'm not going to be using it. So uh, I think the video quality should be better. Let me know if you notice any like distinct um, differences in any of this uh, video quality or audio quality. I know the audio is probably going to be worse. Yeah, my audio quality is already bad on the phone. I have a pretty good camera in my phone. But yeah, I'm going to go do some thrifting today. I got some um, eBay packages to go out so we're going to go and ship those out some more of the vacuum stuff sold so um, or the, the majestic vacuum that I sold I've been selling parts off of it and uh, the wheels sold so I got that in there and some other parts and things so I'm gonna drop these off at the post office and then do my morning routine of hitting Salvation Army and Goodwill but I invite you to come along with me I am in Goodwill, scouring the shelves for anything I can sell for a profit. Um, not much in the electronics and appliances today. The shelves have been pretty empty. Here's some Care Bears. Uh, they're not vintage. I checked. There are a lot of them here. Even the vintage Care Bear stuff really doesn't sell very well at all. Uh, the new ones, I can't imagine being worth it uh, for plushes. They're just mass produced, I assume. Um, I don't know if you can see down there, but there was a McDonald's toy that was from the 80s, but it was all broken up. Here's a game, uh, Boxers versus Briefs. Um, not enough meat on the bone to make any money, so I left that. Uh, let's take a look over here at this little uh, table. This is where they put all their valuable items. Here you have a pair of Eastlands, and they want $59.99 for Eastlands. It's absolutely crazy. $60 for a pair of shoes. I think they sell it like Meyer and Walmart um, These ones are not bad shoes. Here's one of these uh, beer tenders $250. It was not new uh, Those sell well if you can find them these Doc Martens are Still 40 bucks still here um, What do we got here another pair of boots $20 for these um, I don't remember what brand this was for 20. I think it was $29.99. I couldn't see there um, just overpriced shoes, pair of coach shoes for $40, um, and then maybe the worst, a pair of Clarks here, these boots, $69.99, really, $70, um, they are going to sit there forever. Got all that Goodwill and picked up just a camera, Canon SureShot Max, looked it up, looks like it's selling pretty good, uh, Comps are a little random, anywhere from $20 to $35. This one's in pretty good condition. No battery in it, so I'll have to figure out a way to test it. It was only $1.99, so I figured I'd take a chance on it. When you're getting cameras like this cheap enough, even if they don't work or you can't test them properly, um, you can lot them up and, and sell them and still make pretty good money. Someone who resells or can, reconditions cameras are going to want them. But now I'm just waiting for Salvation Army to open, and then I'm going to hit Goodwill and probably Habitat for Humanity Restore. Just got out of the Salvation Army, picked up a couple things. I bought a sports game. Crazy, huh? NCAA Football 13 is one of the better football games. Um, it only sells for like 15 but it was half off. I got it for $1.50, so I figured why not? The disc is in immaculate condition. The case is not even a 360 case. But I have extra green cases so I can just pull out the the art sleeve and put it in another case uh, and sell it. Probably get about $15, maybe up to $20 um, with the case and this being in great condition. So um, worth picking up the NCAA football games the later years. Now if this was um, 14 I would be able to get about $60, $50 to $60 for it because um, that's the last one they made on the 360 I believe. So, um, sports games usually um, are garbage, and you can't even get like a dollar or two for them, but some of them are worth money. Uh, picked up an Under Armour pullover, it's in really good condition, it's my size, it was half off, so I got it for four bucks. This is for me. 
I'm not sure if it's, you know, I don't know how Under Armour sells used online, so, um, but anyways, for me, I'm going to go hit that last Goodwill now, and, um, Habitat for Humanity. So in this Goodwill, I come across this Bose. I thought it was brand new at first. I was getting like, super excited. Seeing it was $50, kind of lost my excitement. Um, opened it up. It is missing the power supply. Um, there is some sort of thing in there. It's not actually the power supply. It a Power supply sells for like $25, $30 on these things. These are sound docks. They go with the old iPhone. So um, without that, I'm not paying $50 for it. Uh, Salvation Army right now actually has a Bose, like a bad Bose unit for $200. I don't know what they're thinking there. Um, just overpriced stuff. Um, electronics section is just bad. <laughs> yeah, nothing really good. And of course, you know, I don't know everything. There could be uh, $200 items sitting there that I missed. Maybe that iron, maybe that curling iron. Maybe there's some high-end curling irons that I'm not aware of. Uh, that's what's great about reselling is you're always learning new stuff in the toy area hoping to find Jurassic World figures I did not find one today um, been on a hot streak finding those things just found one last vlog I believe it was little bag of toys looking for some figures um, nothing in there and then I decided to head over to the ReStore Habitat for Humanity I was in there uh, last week I think it was and scored did very well and um, today there's nothing there for me I'm just kind of looking for a door right now. Um, keeping an eye out for doors for my house, and the prices are kind of ludicrous. Um, like this old door is $75. I know people like old doors. Uh, they're looking for a certain styles for the house, maybe pay up. Maybe $75 is not that bad. I would like some French doors, but they're just overpriced here. Uh, I'd almost rather buy them new. So I am back home. Let me show you my morning haul. It's not bad, actually, for going to three places. Um, got this LG DVD recorder here. Now, this was pretty interesting because it was came out right when I was leaving. Cart rolled out, and I seen it, so I grabbed it. Didn't look it up or anything. Um, it has a 400,000 rank on Amazon FBA, so that's a little high. But um, it does look like it's selling for two to $300. On eBay, you're looking at around 100 There is no remote, so if I can't get a remote cheap, I'm probably just going to blow it out on eBay. Uh, make maybe 60 bucks on it. Uh, I just have too much to deal with to buy remotes and test it and all that. But I uh, picked up a puzzle for $1.99. This one sells for about $25. This also has a high rank. But there's no FBA competition, so I think it will sell quite well. Also, I got this Canon... Um, selfie printer thing this was actually $13 seems to be new inside looks like everything's there new on Amazon selling for $170 however um, I'm not gonna sell it new on Amazon because um, the box is a little damaged I don't know if it's supposed to have plastic around it or anything probably not but I will sell it as like new um, probably try to get a hundred bucks for it I don't know if I'll actually get that We'll see. I think they were normally like $60 used, but since this one's actually new, just open box, I'll try to get a bit more. Oh, uh, you've seen the camera and the NCAA Football 13. I also got some of these picture frames for personal use. There's four of them there. They were $1.99. I needed that size, so I went ahead and picked those up. Of course, you've seen the Under Armour um, hoodie. I got it on. It's a pretty good fit, so I'll probably keep it. I'm um, also going to head out tomorrow to look for or pick up my tile that I ordered from Lowe's, 44 cents per tile. I could only get half of it last time I went there. It's like an hour away because uh, it's too heavy for my car. So I'm going to hit the Salvation Army and the Goodwill in that area and probably a couple more Goodwills while I'm out. Why not? Um, so I'll catch up with you then. It is the next day. I've got the rest of my tile. So let's go hit the Salvation Army and a couple Goodwills, see if we can make some money. I am in the Salvation Army, and before I could even start vlogging, I started fighting stuff. So I grabbed a cart, started picking it up. Uh, you see the Value Tell books in there? Uh, we'll talk about those later. Great pickup there. There's a Bose Sound Dock. That's what I seen at Goodwill yesterday. And um, that one has the power supply. They wanted $13 for it. It was beat up. I ended up putting it back. I uh, actually put a lot of this stuff back, unfortunately. The socket shoes here, uh, $8, just 
wasn't quite enough meat in the condition they were in. Uh, this was a real heartbreak because I thought it was sealed and it was sell selling for over a hundred dollars sealed. It was 15 bucks, but unfortunately, um, I noticed the tape had been torn open and retaped. I just couldn't sell it on Amazon. Used it was only selling for about 15, 20 bucks. Uh, this was a disappointment. I had put this in the cart before I seen uh, that it had a big hole in it and for eight dollars I just didn't want to pay that either uh, just really disappointing in the end however I will show you at the end of the video what I did end up keeping and what I expect to get for it uh, and here's the Salvation Army is big they have a lot of room for furniture I didn't really pay attention to a lot of furniture prices uh, most of the time they're overpriced but they could have been cheaper here um, but yeah I'm just going through and I'm heading over to the electronics to kind of double check make sure I didn't miss anything because I was kind of in a rush uh, there's a printer down there I need to pay more attention to printers I really only look at unique ones because I just don't like to to test them and deal with them that pioneer I didn't look it up but that could have been worth something I don't know why I didn't look it up I did look that up and there it was selling for about twenty dollars so um, I could have picked it up could have made a little bit of money but I would have to test it and deal with it and I just didn't really feel like adding more electronics to my test pile Sony picture station, a bit outdated technology, an open Honeywell um, thermostat. I don't even know if it was the right one. Typewriters, I'm not messing with those right now unless I get a really good deal because I have a few of those I need to test. Um, that was a VR unit for like a phone. You see those a lot at Goodwills now. Um, all of the small appliances here that I I don't typically mess with, and um, like a Twinkie maker. Was that a Twinkie maker? Maybe I should have bought that. Here's some phones. Um, I left the phones too because I just got too many phones. And um, they weren't that high in end anyway. So I decided to get a nice, cool, refreshing beverage. And I put 50 cents in. It was $1.50. Put the two quarters in first. And the machines popped and the power went out. And um, <laughs> lost my 50 cents. Um, turns out that they had them plugged into this little power strip I don't even know if that's safe for those big machines anyway it went off I lost my 50 cents they wouldn't give it back to me I had to make a stop in Raisin Cane's uh, it's become my favorite chicken place uh, it's just so good and I don't have any local to me so anytime I'm around one I like to stop and uh, get it um, really great food at a fair a fair price I am back home and I looked up all these value tale books there's no home runs in there some of these books do sell for over a hundred. Um, the last one I had one, I think th maybe three books that sold for around a hundred, um, over a hundred. I think one that sold for 120 actually. I, uh, pretty sure that the ones from the nineties are the ones that are most valuable. These are from the eighties. Um, I don't know how much I'll get. They're in pretty good condition. Um, let's see here. This is, um, 1986. I don't know what edition these are. This first edition, so that's good. They tend to do the best. Um, hopefully they're all first edition. Uh, it looks like they probably are. Uh, 49 cents a piece. I think I'm going to do quite well on these. Um, the last lot of, I don't even know how many I sold. I feel like it was like 30 some books. I got about $150 for the, um, non-valuable ones. So uh, I would expect to get at least 100 or more on these unless the prices went down. Um, if you sell them by themselves, anywhere from 4 to $10 per book. I'm not going to take the time to list each book and do it that way. Just going to lot them up. Though these top two books seem to be maybe a little more rare or at least there's not a lot of competition. Um, so I might actually price these two at $19.99 and see if they sell and then just list the rest in a lot. So not as good as my garage sale um, pickup of these where I paid $8 and made like close to $700, over $700 I think actually in the end. But uh, I'll pick them up in lots like this all the time as long as they're priced pretty good. And I also got this chess computer. Um, not a, I think there was one on eBay and it was priced at like $50. Um, none have sold. Um, so I... This is in great condition, it has all the pieces, so I think I'm going to price it at um, maybe 30 bucks just to try to move it. It's probably going to be a slow seller, but a lot of the computerized vintage chess sets do pretty well. Excalibur is a more um, sought-after brand, 
Uh, this one I think will sell eventually. Um, uh, just who knows how long I have to wait, but overall a, a decent day. Um, just going out and getting my tile and hitting three good wheels, but that's going to do it for the vlog. Everybody I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for me, subscribe, ring the bell, and find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. It's been Wick. Till next time.